and welcome back to the channel today <clears throat> we got our next game in the Kent State Dynasty um, I think we are in week nine yeah we're coming off the bye week and in the previous video I showed y'all pretty much I brought everything back up the standards <clears throat> back up the present sorry y'all Brought everything back up to the uh, current times with the dynasty because there was a month pause in between the last video and the most recent video that was uploaded, which was the um, the uh, Temple game. So yeah, man, um, with the old fans and new fans. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. today but uh we taking on um ohio um so there's not much to discuss at the moment so uh we gonna go ahead and hop into the game man kent state is lined up for the kickoff The pass Incomplete pass. The pass falls in. The field goal attempt is good. Makes the reception.
Touchdown, Bobcats. The pass falls incomplete. Number 21 on the run. One on the run. Thank you for attending today's ball game. Please drive home safely. All right, y'all, that's going to wrap this one up. The final is 45-10, Ohio. Has come into town and laid the smack down. And it's bad. Just when I gave the offense a little credibility on the last game. It explodes. It explodes into something bad, man. I mean, the quarterbacks can't hit 
they can't hit the water falling out of the boat, man. It's it's bad. And then the worst part about it is you have to play the whole entire game. You can't come back, man, when a quarterback, I'm streaking receivers and they throwing the ball out of bounds. And I'm 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 pass leading. So how does the ball, you know what I'm saying, end up miraculously floating out of bounds? Or you got out routes and the dude, he just overthrow it by 12 yards. Or Y'all seen the plays, man. It's just ridiculous, man. So I already know, man, I thought the O-line was the first step that I need to fix. But obviously, I need to fix the quarterback spot, too. Um, working with what we got. I mean, even though our starting quarterback came back, but, man, he missed, like, seven games, so I didn't expect him to perform well, but pfft, it's still ridiculous, man. But anyway, here we go. We had 11 first downs, 172 total yards of offense. 18 rushing attempts for negative two yards, man. Nine completions out of 29 attempts unbelievable oh man then third down conversions 4 for 11 we left seven extra possessions on the field man can't win games like that man then dudes fumbling oh my goodness dude just he barely get touched and he dropped the ball man just unbelievable, man. I had to put in a third string right here. Malik Mitchell, man. He came in and put up the only touchdown for the day. Bad, man. Just bad. Look at that. Pathetic. And I'm not even doing, you know, any aggressive type passing plays. All of the passing plays I'm running are like route combos, you know, some dink and doink kind of stuff because I already know we're struggling at the quarterback. All the accuracy sucks, man. It, it, it's just bad. But those are the numbers right there, man. Bad. Here's rushing. Will Matthews, man, if he don't progress like next season, and I'm talking about progress decent, I don't think I'm going to run him as our uh, starting uh, running back because obviously it ain't there, man. And you're a red shirt sophomore, man. You're supposed to have a little more grit than that. I guess not, though. Defense. Defense kept us in the game early, but offense just was the complete letdown. So um, we got a lot of patchwork to do, man. But anyway, that's it, y'all. 45-10 is the final. Y'all stay tuned. I appreciate all the views, all the likes, all the comments, all the negative comments. <laughs> what can we say here at Kent State, man? What can we say? When things go good, they go good. When they go bad, y'all see what happens. But anyway, peace.